it is a tale to make you think of making wine which you can drink. Prizes it may not win galore, but all your friends will say, please more. From many fruits we may make wine, apple, elder, and the glorious vine, rosehip and blackberry bestow the hedgerow, but our choice today, the bitter red slow. In early spring you should get to know the attractive blossom of the slow. Mark the spot when you are sober to pick the fruit in late October. Slow, slow, quick pick slow, just as fast as we can go. Four pounds per gallon is what we need. This is the task that's hard indeed. Slow should be picked just after first frost. But if we wait till then, they could be lost to others who are more astute, who'll beat us to the autumn fruit. Without going into a technical lecture, the frost breaks down the molecular structure. To solve this problem is no teaser. Simply pop them in the freezer. When we're ready to make the wine, and this may be in a few weeks' time, we retrieve the frozen fruit and a little extra help recruit. To make one gallon, we must strive. But with no more effort, why not five? To make one gallon must be wrong when five will last just twice as long. From bush to freezer, firm and lushy, the slows thaw out quite soft and mushy. Now crush each one, I do entreat, but please don't use your sweaty feet we're nearly always home to dine so let us make a table wine five kilos sugar we shall try sweeten later if too dry pour hot water on sugar and slow stir until all granules go Then cover carefully and follow the rule. Wait until it is quite cool. If less than 20 pounds of slows, in a tin of grape juice goes. Each tin of grape juice, by repute, replaces four pounds of the fruit. Now we add the pectizyme, this to speed our clearing time, then nutrient, acid, and the yeast. 
one step nearer to the feast. But if confusion causes hoots, all these things we buy at Boots, the chemist's or brew shop near, but don't despair, they're not too dear. Time to let the must ferment, not too long or we'll relent. Seven to ten days if we're wise, if longer it may oxidize. Carefully cover with cloth and ties, we must keep out the vinegar flies. The golden rule has always been, all containers must be clean. Bleaching, brushing, rinsing too, are just a few things we must do. To sterilize against bug and mite, use sodium metabisulfite. Ideal for secondary fermentation, the plastic cube is a great temptation. It may be bought at most wine stores. For 50 pence, it will be yours. Now we're ready to strain the fruit. With assistance, if we're cute. A nylon bag will help produce almost every drop of juice. The five gallon cube has a screw on cap. First hold under the hot water tap. From cap remove the plastic cock and then insert the wine airlock. Keep out the air, I must advise, or our precious wine may oxidize. Whilst it still will make us merry, We'll be drinking unplanned sherry. Stack away up warm and high. Do not let the airlock dry. The wine ferments at a vigorous pace. At the top, you must leave space. When fermentation has quietened down, fill up with water to the crown. This helps avoid that cardinal sin of letting in the oxygen. Time and patience, first and last, are needed till six months have passed. When gravity back to one is near, the wine will soon be still and clear. Use a YouTube siphon with intent to leave behind the sediment. Rack from one cube to another. A little taste should be no bother.
Now our wines immaculate. We add potassium sorbate. This stops the wine fermenting more and exploding bottles when in store. If we like our wine less dry, have some sugar syrup nigh. Add until it tastes just right. Then screw on a spare cap very tight. Now clean our bottles, one and all. The marks must go, however small. Sterilization, our next criteria, to kill each one of those bacteria. Thirty bottles gleaming bright of dinner wine, a sure delight. But not to drink, I do assure. First, our wine has to mature. The bottles on their side must lie to save the corks from getting dry. Keep it cool and note the date. Another six long months to wait. Time has e'er so slowly passed. Drinking time is here at last. Now the guests arrive to dine, very keen to try the wine. Dinner over, hunger gone, Chateau Vin still flows on. As bottles empty, all aglow, inhibitions gradually go.
the intoxicating spirit rife. Husband, you must watch your wife and curb that feeling to explore the beauty of the girl next door. The morning after, sad to say, starts a rueful, penitent day of memories hazy, aches galore, but a funny urge of wanting more. So why not follow my advice and make a wine that's very nice? Not just once in every year, but a cube each month. Hear, hear.